Goal one, kick some Shinra ass and save the planet. Goal two, save the girl while kicking Mo Shinra ass and get out. Copy. Hey everybody, welcome back. This is going to be, I think, possibly a shorter episode because um, even though this is uh, this chapter is, is stretched out pretty good, um, it's not nearly as bad as it would have been last Gotta time. No telling what's gonna collapse or win. There aren't a whole bunch of... Uh, this is kind of like chapter two, the aftermath. There aren't a whole lot of side quests and stuff. Hey, you guys might want to turn around. A friend of ours needs help. It's too dangerous. For you, maybe. So at this point in the original, there were no enemies because it really was just five minutes of climbing up a wire and, and solving a couple of little puzzles um and here in in the remake um we'll have cerulean drake hella trooper elite hella trooper c3 soldier operator i think this is the first time we're gonna fight these guys um shock ray and blast ray blast ray is new and then biobopolis biobopolis um, and that's just a palette swapped, more powerful version of uh, Argent Police. So, and then the Valkyrie uh, shows up, which is like Heli Gunner from the original. Um, so we're getting down to the wire here. Only three more chapters after this. The this chapter of the remake takes a wonderful yet ridiculously lengthy path up to the plate from the slums. Um, here we are actually climbing up roadways and collapsed buildings as opposed to just going and doing those few um those few little puzzles um there's even an altitude you'll see in a minute there's an altitude reading that follows you all the way up so you know how far up from the ground you are uh, since this is a new area area there are the new enemies um so uh i i understand why they put the valkyrie here instead of instead of after the arsenal like they did in the original um there needed to be some balance in the boss battles and not all of them had to happen at the end of the game um, that's all i have to say about the um, about the enemies there Just try to be careful. don't worry we will and our eyes are adjusting to the light again and then we have a little rest area here i don't think i need it because it's the beginning of the chapter Oh, but this is that's for um, for hard mode when you've gone up here and battled some of the enemies, and then you needed to rest. You go back down there. And here are the the biobacolus. Take the lead. I got this. Bring it. Nothing to it. Oh, that <laughs> this looks like the the what is that that um, Warner Brothers? <laughs> it's that backdrop, but it's so just pla uh, just plastered there. It's like wallpaper. I really hope they can correct that and and rebirth. There's a cerulean Drake flying in the background. This is really cool, though. I I do appreciate, you know, the how this is all fleshed out. Give them hell. I know I always say that, but deal with that. All set. Watch yourself. Need my help. See, now I'm getting used to going back and forth from this to Crisis Core. But that's okay. It's not too much of an adjustment. Because it's still spamming the square button in order to beat the bad guys. The only difference is the dodge 
they did a, a an honest game review to that, which was really funny and really true. I'll end this. Take the lead. So that's where we have to climb? Nothing comes apart while we're up there. Ah! We've made it through worse, you know. Yeah, no kidding. It's a miracle we haven't been killed a dozen times over by now. Oh, I see that. It looks like a giant version of uh, Matchbox cars. Where they have the, the racing plastic stripe. It's a dead end. Wonder if this rope belongs to search and rescue. Think we might be able to climb up here. Time for the grappling guns. Try to aim for that part of the rope that's hanging there. Don't screw up and fall. By the way, how well you do with this grappling gun will tell us a whole lot about you. <laughs> Just remember, we can't come back down. Are you ready? I think I see a rope hanging off the top there. There's the Valkyrie. And all those Hullet Troopers, too. Huh. We can take them. We need to stay on mission. This is Hunter 2-2. Just had to put down a few monsters. Over. <sighs> Roger. Freaking avalanche making us put in OT. Probably cowering in the dark somewhere. If you find the shitheads, make them suffer. 2-3 out. Listen up! We ain't running, and we ain't hiding! <laughs> Y'all don't know the meaning of suffering, but you will! Call was over. Well, that's good. <laughs> It's a hard time keeping it together. That 
where I came from? Oh. Come on, we need to get inside. Why don't we use our grappling guns to get up there? Jump over all this shit. Not much choice. Do it.
Keep it tight. You're done. That's it. Those gloves up. Sure thing, coach. So if, okay, so this is where we this is where I was talking about. There's um 115 meters above ground level, 120 meters above ground level. It's on the map. And you can always just check in to see how how high you've gone. And I think it's supposed to be a total of three meters. 3 meters, thir 300 meters. And I think there's just a treasure chest down here. Yeah, it's right here. So we're 120 meters above ground level. So we are now 135 meters. So we're not even halfway. Makes sense. And I think we kind of go down a little bit and then up again. Looks terrible. I I actually have yet to play this on PS5. Um, I haven't seen if they've done any better with that. Save some for later. No need, son. I've got more than enough to keep me going for days. Apparently, there's not that much of a difference because the game was it was just made for PS4, and then they had to. Move everything over. And even though they can, 
even though they can move move assets over and everything, it's still the same assets that they've made in, in Unreal Engine 4. But they're creating all new stuff that makes a difference. Take the lead. Oh. I don't think I saw that the first time. <laughs> he just pieces falling off. Now we're 145. Get out of my way, Tifa. <laughs> They're just phasing in and out. I'll let you go first. Okay, now it looks good. I mean, that backdrop is so grainy looking. They need to put some smoke in that skybox or something. Kind of like they did for Jurassic Park. Some fog. Here I go. Right behind you. <laughs> Take the lead. Let me see. Huh? That's the way to do it. The funny thing is, is that that's, that backdrop looks worse every time I see it. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's, I'm actually seeing it on like different TVs or something, or like it just, or if I'm looking at it more up close or I'm just used to seeing it and it looks worse each time. gonna leave me leave me with one HP okay that's not bad I guess Make it 
decent team. All right, we're just going on up. Oh, there are hello troopers. Bye, hello troopers. We'll fight you in a minute. All right, we're more than halfway up officially. Not, he was having a bad day. I remember the first time I saw this, I was super impressed. I guess we'll build another bar. Yeah. I think it's different here because the lighting and the atmosphere effects make it look more You'll believable. To, won't you? Except for right behind Cloud, that right that shot before that when it was just gray did not look good because you can see it clearly for a price but you could see that it's just a flat picture so I guess the difference is you look over here and you have that lens flare or that uh see if you look down there it, it doesn't look good it looks like that fire is just kind of out in front of you in the middle of nowhere but if you go out here looks a little bit different. You have to use tricks to make it look like, you know, force perspective and things like that. But, um, I guess now they have better tools, so we'll see what happens. I keep saying that. It's true. See how far we are. 160 meters. Now we're 190 meters. It's gotta be like 210 or something. I tried to check my map to see how far up we were, but this is going to be it, though, for the chapter once we beat this guy. Yeah, see, I can't check. Same button. Um, this is, like, all Barret here. Some 
pretty fancy fly in there, Cloud. That wasn't even half its HP. What the hell? Oh yeah, there's like a thing that attacks. It attacks me, but if I go close to him, if I drag him, if I drag him close. Blasts itself. Cool. And that, you actually have to do that, I think, um, on hard mode. And unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get to use summon because this is on easy, essentially. Okay. There we go. This destroyed itself. I want to summon Bob. And then I just want to run around and watch Bahamut destroy it. See what what it does. Stick it out to the end. Umbral strikes. I sacrificed Barrett to do it because I was really trying to not to kill it right away. Not that there was ever any doubt. I wanted to see Bahamut take it out. Well, he did. Kind of like to see Bahamut's final attack. I think it's Mega Flare. They all must be really strong. I could see Barrett being strong, but those guys to haul that guy, he must be like over 300 pounds. There's such a thing as too much excitement. Yeah. And 
And there's still more to come. Guess so. Hope everybody's warmed up. That would be like a good teaser for Rebirth. <laughs> okay, here we are in Junin. And that weird looking plane that's definitely not aerodynamic is taking off and flying into the ocean. Okay, no, it's actually flying. Oh no, the huge materia. Let's go after it. Where is their destination? Rocket Town, of course. So, we're going to Rocket Town. See you there. And here we are at Rocket Town. And I guess there's something that you can get here that I didn't know about. I don't remember what room it's in, but there's like a new thing. A new treasure chest. <laughs> Just keep knocking. I guess it's on the in the weapon shop, maybe? Let's try it. Oh yeah, there's a new treasure chest. Fourth bracelet. I don't think I've ever gotten that before. But I like I happened to look at to see in a walkthrough how long this chapter part was gonna be. Um and I saw that in there. So you, it's like I keep seeing things after years and years of playing this that I have never gotten or seen before. Those terrorists are here! I want to get Galleon Beast out here. Because I've been quickly getting everybody's um, limit breaks going. Don't let them get any. any let, don't let them get any further. Everyone, attack! Easy for me to say. Not going anywhere. Uh, uh, nowhere. Senior grunt and attack squad. Oh yeah, I don't already have him in my party, so he comes up. Wait, Cloud! If you're gonna kick those fucking Shinra out of my rocket, then take me with you. Okay. Then I'll take Tifa because she's the love interest. All right, let me just equip the material real quick. All right, let's show those fucking Shinra. All right. I don't know what other word. It's just it just. Fits perfectly. You again. We will eliminate everyone who gets in Shinra's way.
Oh yeah, that's right. He only has... I think that's his first limit break. I haven't leveled up his limit breaks yet. I also haven't gotten Big Guard, which I that's usually one of the first things I get. <laughs> Sorry, your crush is beating the crap out of you. Ugh. Ugh. He disappears, which means he died. No, he didn't really die. But I think that's the last time we'll ever fight him. Oh yeah, okay, he gained Dynamite, which is uh, his next limit break. They got us. And he'd just walk right over him. <laughs> you! You! Why are you here? Root of the Turks should have been here. Too bad. Those guys are over there. Oh man, the Turks! Being done in like that! But I won't let you through! Let's see if I can... We'll summon a Neo Bahamut. We'll summon. Ah, let's go. Bah. I haven't done Bahamut, the regular Bahamut yet. All right, we know what this looks like. Let's speed it up. <laughs> it's just this little guy. Oh, sorry, buddy. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. Erg. Hey, what the hell are you guys doing? Hey, well, just when I thought something was going on, you'd come back. Listen to me, Captain. We're going to launch this rocket. Oh, what are you talking about? We're going to blow... We're gonna load a meteor. Materia bomb. We're gonna load a materia bomb in this and blow up meteor. A rocket's gonna save the planet. Urgh, man, this is so cool. We're gonna blow a meteor. Wait a minute. Shut up. Just shut the hell up. How's the rocket? It's pretty much okay. But we plan to run it into meteor on autopilot. But the most important device is broken. Broken? How's the repair going? Shara's doing it. Oh, great. What a bunch of wizard you guys are. She's going to take 100 years. I'll take over, so don't worry about the autopilot. Hey, go ahead. Go tell everyone. All right, Captain. Good luck. Hey, Sid, what are you doing? There are generations of knowledge and wisdom inside the materia. We're going to borrow their powers and save the planet from Sephiroth. There's no way that we can lose the huge materia. You understand that, right? Oh, he's asking, he said, Yeah, I understand. I understand that materia is precious, and I also understand what you're thinking. But listen, I don't give a rat's ass whether it's science or magical power. No, I guess if I had to choose, I'd rather put my money on the power of science. Humans only used to walk around on the ground, but now they can fly. And finally, we're about to go into outer space. Science is a power created and developed by humans, and science might just be what saves this planet. I was able to earn my living thanks to science, so to me, there's nothing greater. Now quit your worrying about what Shinra's gonna do. I don't want to regret not having done something later. But Sid... Shut the hell up, I don't want to hear it. Alright, time to get to work. Anyone who ain't involved, get the hell out of here. What the hell? What the hell happened? Hey, hey! Bomber, what the hell do you do? They said they finished repairing the autopilot, so I launched it. Goddamn, Shara, why'd she pick today to get fast? Damn, won't even budge. It's completely locked up. Hey, 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 almost lift off. What the? No countdown? It just don't seem the same without it. Hey, hey, hey! Blast off! This part, part of this was in the trailer for Final Fa the original Final Fantasy VII, I remember. Well, it was like a TV spot. Part of the countdown, and then they, they show like the live stream in Cloud, and then Final Fantasy VII. They made it a whole big 
commercial event. A lot of these videos, I didn't mean to do it, but they kind of coincide. They line up nicely. So like for the remake, I was going climbing up and up and up, and then this is going right into the into outer space. Really sort of fantastical kind of high intensity chapters. I finally made it, outer space. Let's see, how's the course set? Yup, it's headed for a collision with Meteor. Can't we do something? If it goes on, we're... That damn polymer went out of his way to lock the autopilot device. We might not be able to change course. Is this the end? Huh? What the hell are you saying? You're still young, don't give up so easily. I'm not gonna crash into Meteor. Just watch. I keep an escape pod on the rocket just for emergencies like this. I deciphered the lock code on the escape pod will bail right before we crash into Meteor. Hey, what about the huge materia? If you want the materia, do whatever you want. The materia should be there after you climb that ladder. You sure? I don't know. I know what I said a minute ago. But maybe all that I really wanted was just to go into outer space. So why don't you all do whatever you think is right? I don't need to go super speed with this yet. I finally found the huge materia. It's structured so that the lock can be opened if we enter the passcode from the control panel. There's a control panel. Try and operate it. Yes. Enter passcode. Hey Cloud, you, you know how to use it, right? Every time it says enter passcode, press one of those buttons. If you punch in the right code, it'll unlock and you can get the huge materia. So what order am I supposed to enter the passcode in? I don't know, just try and punch the code randomly. Passcode input error. Unauthorized user identified. Protection system will activate in three minutes. Seems like you missed the code. If we don't enter the correct passcode before the protection system activates, we won't be able to get the materia back. Passcode confirmed. Identified as an authorized user unlocked. All right, Cloud. It's unlocked. Yep, my great advice saved the day. You didn't give me any advice. I already knew that passcode. Well, I knew it was something something XX. It was either square circle or circle square. And I guessed it right the second time. Shara? Grr. Damn, my leg's stuck in the debris. Sid. I can't, it's so heavy, I can't lift it. Don't worry about me, hurry up and go. If you don't hurry, the rocket's gonna crash into Meteor. I can't go without my friends. You bitch. No time to worry about other people. I'm gonna do whatever I can. You're stupid. You're really fucking stupid. Tank number eight blew up, so tank number eight really was malfunctioning. Shara, you were right. But this is the end for me. Don't say that, Sid. Huh? Shara! I tagged along. I'm coming to help you. You stupid bitch. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, better be sorry. You stupid bitch. 
<laughs> the escape pod is this way. Please hurry. Alright. <laughs> hurry, I'm going to detach the, the escape pod. Hey, Shara, does this pod really fly? It'll be okay. I've checked it. Then I'm relieved. Thanks. So this is outer space. Man, it's the real thing. I'm really here in outer space. So long, Shinra number 26. There are going to be so many amazing cinematic sequences in this. And, and even if they did, like, complete remakes, painstakingly getting each part of, you know, any of the original, like, one through six, any of those, they could make some really good cinematic material out of these games. Or they could make the games with a lot of good cinematic material. Because these, so a lot of these stories are really great. From what I've been playing. And the meteor's still there. Just cracked the hard outer shell. And there's an even harder inner shell. Hugen Hagen is disappointed. This reminds me of Don't Look Up. <laughs> Although they didn't even... They didn't even get the rocket into space that they were going to use to blow up the meteor. Rufus and the others' plan was a failure. What a bust. I kind of hope it'd work. We've been bothering them as much as we can, but there ain't no other way. Wonder if we've been wrong all this time. Makes you worry, doesn't it? Don't worry, think! Hey, the girl's right. You start worrying and there's no stopping it. Things just start falling apart and get worse and worse. You're pretty damn optimistic. You up to something? Yeah, I've been thinking about this and that. All the time we've been up here looking at the planet. I've been thinking even when we were floating in the ocean in that escape pod. I've been thinking too about the universe, planet, ocean. How wide and big. No matter where I go and what I do, it won't change a thing. Maybe you're right. But I came up with something different. I always thought this planet was so huge. But looking at it from space, I realized it's so small. We're just floating in the dark. Kind of makes you feel powerless. On top of that, it's got Sephiroth festering inside it like a sickness. That's why I say this planet's still a kid. A little kid sick and trembling in the middle of this huge universe. Someone's gotta protect it. You follow me? That someone is us. Sid, that's beautiful. 
Yo, Sid, you even got to me. Now what? How are we going to protect the planet from Meteor? I'm still thinking about that. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Huh? Did you hear something? Maybe it's the planet Scream, or is it Meteor? Hey, how do we know that this is really the planet Scream? Did you forget? Hugenhagen told us. Hugenhagen. Let's go see Grandfather to Cosmo Canyon. I'm sure he'll be able to tell us something that will be helpful. Alright, so now... So this part of Final Fantasy VII Original up to the end comes in rather shorter chapters than we've done in past videos. I wanted to leave a little room here for any extra scenes, uh, like what we'll see when we go to the Shinra Mansion basement again, uh, getting any extra final attacks or ultimate weapons. The, la the Lost Forest, too, is a really good area. I think that's what it's called, the Lost Forest. Um, I haven't decided on whether to fight Ruby and Emerald weapons, um, but there's not really a need to since I've already done that without cheating a long time ago. Um, again, this is mostly just for the story, and if I did fight those weapons, uh, it would be a separate video with uh, different intentions. So, enough uh, with, without, uh, I was going to say without further ado, but um, actually, um, I intended to, I'm just going to cut that part out. Um, so that was uh, a, a lot shorter of a chapter, um, with the remake, um, that was like a 30 minute chapter, and in the last one before that was like, it took me a couple hours, a few good hours to get through that, and then this, um, going into outer space and everything, it's, it's actually a relatively short sequence, so, um, so the next time, uh, I am going to, we're going to, um, do the there's just the stuff with the key of the ancients and fighting diamond weapon i think um and then yeah that that should be a relatively short chapter too but maybe we'll get some extra stuff in so we're back here in nibelheim um because i'm going to do that little scene uh, after cloud has got everything back together um and you go back to the mansion you get this little nugget Hey, this is your food. Was he like, oh, for a minute it looked like he was about to like chop him, but he was just testing out his sword because he got it back f first time in a while. I haven't gotten to the point in, um, in Final Fantasy Seven or Crisis Core Reunion, Final Fantasy Seven yet. Oh, here. Put this on. It smells a little, but don't complain. You look pretty good with that. Well? Oh, he dressed him up in a soldier uniform? Yo, old guy, we at Midgar yet? Shut up, you're lucky I even gave you a ride. What are you gonna do once we get to Midgar? I know what I'm gonna do. I got a place I can crash for a while. 
No, wait, the mother lives there too. I guess that's out. It's uh, Aerith's house. Yep, gotta change my plans. Hmm. No matter what I do, I need some money first. Hey, wanna start a business? Now what could we do? Hey, Cloud. Think there's anything I'd be good at? Hey, old guy. What do you think I'd be good at? What are you yapping about? You're still like, young, ain't you? Young folks should try everything. You gotta pay your dues while you're young. Go out and look for what you really want. Try everything. That's easy for him to say. Hey! Of course! I got more brains and skill than most other guys. That settles it. I'm gonna become a mercenary. Yeah, thanks, Pops. Hey, didn't you hear a word I said? Listen, I'm gonna become a mercenary and that's that. Boring stuff, dangerous stuff, anything for money. I'm gonna be rich. So, Cloud, what are you gonna do? No, wait, you got it all wrong. Uh, uh. Just kidding. I won't leave you hanging like that. We're friends, right? Mercenaries, Cloud, that's what you and me are gonna be. Understand, Cloud? I wonder how there are two chapters, because I haven't gotten to that point yet, there are two, two chapters in between when Zack gets um, essentially put out of commission by Sephiroth and they end up in the tank, and then this point, which is the end of Crisis Core. What do you want to do with him? Uh, uh... Forget it, just leave him. And that's how Cloud ended up at Midgar. And he crawls his way in there. Except that's not how it's going to happen in Rebirth or Remake or however they're going to do it because they're changing the whole story. So, anyway, thank you everybody for watching. See you next time.